guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at divide array into equal pairs problem which is from lead code number 2206 we will be looking at three different solutions in this case let's now read the problem statement in this case you are given an integer array nums consisting of 2n number of integers you need to divide nums into n pairs such that each element belongs to exactly one pair and the elements present in a pair are equal return true if nums can be divided into n pairs otherwise we need to return false now if we look at first example the problem is saying that if you want to pair this three up then you have to pair it up with another three if you want to pair up this two you have to pair it up with another two right and two will be paired up with another two so if you want to solve this then in a simpler approach what we can do is we can take an iterator and whenever the iterator is looking at an item you can find out the frequency of that item by just iterating through the entire array okay so if the frequency of the item mod of 2 is 0 then you will know that that item can be actually paired up because if an item is occurring two times then you can pair up if the item is occurring four times then you can create two pairs if the item is occurring three times you can create three pairs right so you can just iterate and find the frequency for each of the unique items and uh, that is how you can solve it but if you follow that approach then it will definitely be taking you order of n square right but let's see the constraint here the constraint says that the nums dot length will be maximum two times of n and n is only less than equals to 500 so if you write an n square algorithm that will be 2.5 times of 10 to the power of 5 which is way less than your uh, 10 to the power of 8 right therefore this will pass even the brute force approach will pass that is why this question is marked easy but let's see some of the more optimal approaches well the first approach is by using sorting where you can just take the array and sort it so i have sorted it in ascending order right now if you are able to pair up then what you can do is you will be starting an iterator from one and you will be checking array at i with array at i minus one if they are equal then make a jump of two size and again check array at i with i minus one if they are equal make a jump of size two and again check array at i with array at i minus one right so in that way actually you can decide that uh, can you pair up the entire array or not because if at any point you find that array at i is not equals to array at i minus one that means the pairing is not possible if you had no three here but it was replaced by four then you can have a four here and so the four will not match up with three in that case you will be returning false now the sorting algorithm will take n log n time and after that a single parse will be order of n therefore the time complexity will be n log n and the space complexity order of one let's look at the second approach which is by using frequency count so in this case given the array we will be taking a hash map where the key will be the value and the and the value of the map will be the frequency right so iterate through all the items and count the frequency of each of the item once you have done that in the first parse you have to iterate through the entire map and for every key entry you have to find out if the frequency mod of 2 equals equals 0 that means you can actually pair it up right so all the items occurred in multiples of 2 if it is true then you have to return true otherwise you return false okay now this is a two parse approach and uh, in this case both the parses takes order of n time therefore the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is also order of n let's look at the third approach which is by using the set pairing and unpairing in this case given the array 3 1 2 1 3 2 what the idea is uh, we will be iterating through the entire array and whenever i see an item i will be checking it if it is present in the set or not present so if it is not present i will be inserting it into the set and i will be moving on now if one is not present i will be inserting it into the set two is not present inserting it into the set one it is present in the set so i will be removing it from the set and move forward three it is present in the set so i will be removing it from the set and move forward and same goes for two it is present in the set so remove it and move forward at the end if you follow this approach of inserting when you see an item for the first time and removing when you see an item for the second time then if the set is empty then you can say that uh, the pairing is possible otherwise pairing will not be possible because let's say you had another item four then four will be inserted into the set but 
it needs another pair of four which will be actually uh, removing this four as well right so if elements are not in pair then the set at the end will not be of zero size okay so i think this approach is also clear and the time complexity is order of n space complexity order of n and this is a single parse approach now let's look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the code for the third technique using the set pairing and unpairing so we are given the nums array i have taken a remaining uh, unordered set and after that i will be iterating through each of the item of the array and if the current item is present in the remaining set then i will be erasing it from the set otherwise i will be inserting it into the set after we are done iterating through all the items at the end if the set is of size zero then return true otherwise return false so this is the entire code and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you